Okay, sorry guys, correction here. Okay, this is the carrier signal. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is the this is the original message. Original message. Okay, let's say 20 hertz. Let's say 20 hertz. And this is the carrier. Carrier signal. Carrier signal. And let's say this is a... Uh, 1 kilohertz. So basically, carrier signal is higher. Eh? It's a high frequency signal. And... If you plus original and carrier, and then you get the modulated, modulated signal. Okay, those two modulated signals. Okay, next types of signals. Okay, signals you ha we have two types of signals. The first one is continuous time. Okay, what is continuous? Okay, continuous is basically a digit the analog. And it looks like this. It is a continuous. It is a continuous time signal. Okay, it's time and the amplitude. The amplitude A, A of uh, V of T. Let's say V of T. Okay, amplitude and time. So you have continuous in amplitude and continuous in time. Or you, or you also have uh, the continuous or uh, con continuous in amplitude and, and but the discrete in time okay continuous time signal and second is the discrete time signal discrete time signal is a digital signal or a discrete signal we call it discrete signal this is actually the sample sample from continuous time signal and uh, if we draw it looks like this okay if we have the, the same the same uh, sinusoid signal for the discrete time, it is, it is, it is discrete, like this. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> my drawing is so, so bad. Okay, and V of N. So, it is, here is integer, integer value. N is integer value. Integer value. So we have continuous time signal and discrete time signal. Continuous is uh, basically an analog, and discrete time signal is uh, basically a digital signal. We have discrete value. Okay, there are two types of discrete time. First is continuous value, and second is discrete value. Okay, look at the continuous time signal or analog signal. Okay, it is defined for every value of time. The function is continuous continuous versus time okay this is continuous time signal okay next discrete time signal the time is defined only at discrete value okay for example here we have the certain certain point it's at certain point we're sampling the analog signal and we uh, we just take a certain samples the uh, and it is a discrete time so here the time exists we have the sampling rate sampling frequency sampling interval so from here we get the discrete time signal okay next the process of digital signal uh, includes sampling sampling is uh, we sample the time exists and then quantizing. Quantizing is the process to uh, sample the amplitude into the state that exists. And then the coding process. So th this is the process of analog to digital conversion. Okay, what is system? System is entity that process a sign of signal uh, into the from input, and we want to get an output. Then we call it as system. So here you have the input signal. Okay, okay, this is the input signal. Input signal. And then you have the system. Let's say your system looks like this. And then the output signal, you get one output signal. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, 
let's say you have a input signal, a noisy signal, and then the, the output is a clean signal. So, uh, in the middle here, we call it as a system. Okay, system, it, for, it performs operations on the signal to filter out the noise or interference. And it also, uh, the function is also to reduce the noise or interference of the corrupt of the corrupting uh, file and to get the desired output output signal so this the operation we call as signal processing uh, so the operation is signal processing the pro the operation to get the output we call it the we call it as signal processing okay this is analog versus versus digital analog circuit versus digital digital circuit Okay, then uh, this is DSP. D D DSP is the uh, include the mathematics and the algorithm and the techniques used to manipulate all the signals after they have been converted into a digital form. So the, rep the representation of the signals by sequences or numbers and or symbols and the processing of the sequences. So we call it as signal processing lah. so digital representation of the signal and the use of the digital processor to analyze to modify or to extract information from the signals so refer to the processing of the signal methodology signal is a function or physical quantity of a set of independent variables that contains some kind of information which can be conveyed displayed and manipulated the system is an abstraction or anything that can take an input of the signal and then we operate on it and produce an output signal so the processing is by processing we we mean to operate the um operate the fashion on signal to extract some useful information why signal need to process okay signals need to be processed because signals are corrupted corrupted by interference due to noise for example my uh, recorded voice may be interrupted uh, interference by the noise the noises comes from uh, ceiling fan uh, and etc so signals are distorted Maybe due to the transmission medium, so we need to filter out the noise, the the distorted, the the, the distorted and the, the distorted signals, and we want to recover information present in the signal, and finally we want to perform some algorithm such as modulation function, compression, um, we want to uh, do artificial intelligence on the signals, we want we want to perform machine learning algorithm. So that's why digital signal processing is very important. Okay, next is motivation to uh, going digital. It is because of digital is easy to analyze by using computers, easy to store, easy to record using CD, hard disk, uh, cloud drive. Uh, it is compact in size, for example, in semiconductor technology. Uh, smaller in size, lower cost, low power consumption, and higher speed. So the goal of DSP is, is usually we want to measure and to analyze the real world analog signals in digital domain. Digital domain, it, include, it includes time domain, multi-dimensional domain, frequency domain, wavelet domain, time frequency domain. So, uh, that's the advanced algorithm of DSP lah. So they choose the domain to process the signal by making an educated guess or possibility of which domain best represent the characteristic the characteristics of the signals. Okay, class, we will continue uh, on the next class. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon.